Hi. I am feeling like I should maybe just start kind of doing these little like video clips more often where people get to see like, you know, I think it's, it doesn't it feel good? Like some of these shows that a lot of us, you know, watch sometimes like these reality shows and all like, like how do people really live, right? So I'm riding through my neighborhood right now. Um, it's, it's a kind of cool place. Um, turn this down. My husband drives his car sometimes, so then things get moved around. So, um, so yeah, earlier I shared a video talking about how, you know, my day got interrupted by, like I had all these plans. I was going to do a cooking, cooking video, but then, um, had all these flower orders, which I am so thankful for. Um, I made a good little tiny bit of money that I can just like stick away and use for Christmas presents for my children. With my side hustle flower bouquet thingy that I've got going on. And then, um, but then my, my best friend had a wreck yesterday and so I am on my way to her house back of my car I have um, some frozen stuff that I got at Trader Joe's a while back like I just looked in the freezer and I was like hey what if we just eat this I think it's like spring rolls and what's the other thing I can't even remember y'all but back in the back of my car I just kind of put some stuff together for my friend and me so whenever I get there we'll just heat that up We'll have a little wine um, and call it a night. But I'm hoping that she is feeling better after her car accident. But before that, I am on my way right now to Square One Fish Company over in the Normal Town neighborhood of Athens. And they they use my pickles in a lot of their recipes, but but mainly at the bar is where you'll find my pickles and then pickle juice. And um, uh, so Alyssa, who orders for the bar, she's the bar manager, she ordered the other day and you know, I was like, I promise I will get it to you before Sunday because Sundays are their big Sunday brunch day and light just turned green. So while I'm talking, I am actually looking around at all this traffic and, and trying to drive also. But um, so yeah, so Alyssa has ordered and I am on my way to Square One Fish Company right now to take a little box of pickled vegetables so that she can use them in Bloody Mary's tomorrow for the Sunday brunch. And she also does pickled teenies. So yeah, like in Athens, Georgia, a lot of um, places that have pickles, like in where people that know about pickles go, they will ask for a pickle teeny. They will, they want a martini with pickle juice in it, not just regular pickle juice. They want pickle juice and they want it garnished with pickles pickles so yeah it's a big deal like she's like can you please make sure you get this stuff here before Sunday so I'm on my way there right now to do that and then I'm gonna go see my friend Deborah and uh, her daughter actually works at Square One Fish Company she's a hostess there on the weekends so she's probably expecting me to come and so um, that's what I'm up to but just for, I noticed today at some point I looked at my uh, YouTube, sorry, I'm just watching this traffic, and I noticed that I had maybe another 50 subscribers. I don't really like to call y'all subscribers. I'm really hoping that everybody that subscribes to my YouTube channel will be like, it's sort of like back in the day whenever we first did Facebook and everybody, you know, you had to decide who you want to be friends with on there. I'm hoping that everyone who is subscribing to my YouTube will feel like a friend of mine. Um, because that's the way I want this to be. I want it to be like we are friends and you can, you know, like I can 
say whatever I want to say and feel safe saying what I want to say and you can feel safe commenting to me and also expecting the best of me, right? Because we're friends. Um, so that's the thing. I'm at a red light again. <laughs> um, I don't know if, even know if y'all can see me. I am, I have to wear these I have to wear like prescription glasses for everything lately. It sucks, but these are prescription sunglasses. And it's hard for me to see my phone. <laughs> it's hard for me to see the camera, but I can see the road. I can see to drive. So, um, anyway, yeah, I'm going down Timothy Road right now in Athens. Um, I think I saw on Facebook recently that the B-52s are playing at the Classic Center again soon. Supposedly their last show. <laughs> so many bands just say, it's our last show. You know, whatever. So, whatever. But maybe it is our last show. I don't know. But the last time they played at the Classic Center was so fun for me. I went with my friend James Taylor, Erica Cascio. Jessica, who lives in France now, who knows? and we had backstage passes, and we, I got to go fickle at all the, the whole band, so I have a picture, like a group picture with uh, the B-52s, and they're all holding my pickles, like pickle jars, and, uh, and then we were on the front row, like the first row at the concert. It was so much fun. So much fun. My friend James Taylor just, he just loves um, doing this kind of thing. And um, yeah, it was, it was really great. It's one of my favorite, favorite memories of my whole life. And uh, uh, you know what a funny part of that story is, the way I remember it is, I had lost my ticket. It's <laughs> somehow, at least I still got in. I don't remember how I got in. But I don't know how I lost my ticket between like walking from Square One Fish Company to the Classic Center. But I did. But still somehow got in and got backstage and got to fickle the B-52s. I'll have to share that picture at the end of this video. But, um, but yeah, that really happened. Um, anyway, so I'm hoping my friend gets tickets again for this one. It'll be really fun. It would be a really good uh, way to <laughs> end out 2022. <sighs> oh, I'm not even sure where I'm going with this. I guess I'm saying roam where you want to. Roam across the world. Roam if you want to. Roam. Without wheels, without, ah. anyway, y'all get the gist of it. Sometimes I just feel like we put too many rules on ourselves, like, and the world does too, and it is quite all right to just roam where you want to. And I guess, like, the reason I even, like, this came up in my mind was because I was saying I'm going down Timothy Road, which made me think, headed down the Atlanta Highway. <laughs> so, I also have pictures of me with some friends, some really fun friends, that were taken at the Love Shack bus stop years ago. I'm with Santa Claus and the Catman. And so only, probably only Athens people will even know what I'm talking about when I say I was with Santa Claus and the Catman. <laughs> and then in the trash can, we found this uh, caution tape. So we like sort of threw caution to the wind from the Love Shack bus stop. We threw caution to the wind. I was wearing some light purple dress and a crown on my head because I was the Mardi Gras queen at the time <laughs> at a New Orleans style restaurant. Um, uh, you can't make this stuff up, y'all. Like, you can't make my life up. I mean, 
Um, so anybody that's just joining on my channel and going, wait, I thought I, I thought I got on this channel because she was just going to share cooking videos. Yep. Well, I'm going to be doing that too. Um, but I just want to like welcome all of you to my fun life and hopefully can match energies where if I share fun and uplifting things, then hopefully if you watch and, and you know, hopefully the fun and happiness will resonate with you. And, um, yeah, yeah, just help everybody to be a little happier. Yeah, right there. We're, we're about to pass by this really ugly house that we used to own. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so, it got sold, and the new owner, like, totally, like, painted it, put on new siding and everything. It looks great right here on Timothy Road. So, happy. Happy about that. But we tried to get the county here to let us do like some tiny homes or something. You know, this is athens Clark County and you'd think that they would, they would want more affordable housing. Trying for that, but that didn't happen. They made it very difficult for us. So anyway, we ended up selling selling that piece of property, and now the new owner. I really hope that he's able to um, to keep it. He's put a lot of work into it to make it look nice, and it does look nice. Um, anyway, everybody struggles with stuff, you know, like just trying to. Um, trying to uh, survive in this in this crazy matrixy world <laughs> like what so many rules are put on us but yeah 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 I'm getting there y'all I'm getting there I'm now over here I'm crossing the Atlanta highway and I'm headed over down Mitchell Bridge Road, and I'm going to eventually head through um, Normal Town, Normal Town, and that's where Square One Fish Company is. I'm going to make a little pickle delivery there, so that they can be all stocked up for their brunch tomorrow. You know what? I've got a pretty good inkling that I'll probably be there for brunch tomorrow my favorite brunch place. Last night I had fried catfish. Not there, <laughs> but at this place called Ca Classic City Eats in Watkinsville, Georgia. Oh my goodness. I thought I was gonna, you know, like gain all this weight because I had ate fried catfish, french fries dipped in ranch, and um, like green beans with like ham. And I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Right? And, then, and I was dipping my fried catfish in their tartar sauce. And I was like, I am just being bad, 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 right? Well, this morning I woke up and I weighed myself. I weigh about like every two weeks, you know. Lo and behold, I had lost like about six pounds since the last time I weighed. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I need to eat more catfish. <laughs> like fried catfish. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I think a lot of the things that we do, like a lot of the diets and all, they're just a fad. They're just a fad. Yeah. Okay, and I just got that song that just came to my head. You know, like even saying that. Do what you want to do. Go where you want to go. Think about 
about this, like when you are on a bridge and you cross a river, I just did. Do you ever think about like where that river comes through, like comes from and all the different places it runs through? Yeah. Maybe not everybody's as um, crazy as I am. I am just way crazy, super intuitive and everything just really matters to me. Like everywhere I go and uh, feel everything. Anyway, I am going to get off of here so that I can focus on driving through Normaltown in a second and then make my delivery and then head over to my, my best friend's house to make sure she's okay. So I just, I'm passing this, this car wash over here shouldn't have moved this. It's not really, I, I couldn't really get it, get it to work, but I'm not, you know, one to like really watch a whole lot of football or anything, but I do always think that that car wash back there that's at the end of this road, this is the end of Mitchell Bridge Road, right at the um, Mitchell Bridge Tallahassee Road intersection there's a car wash right behind this gas station. Did you see, like, there. And uh, it said something about Florida might need to change their jorts or might need new jorts. Isn't there a thing about, like, Florida uh, gator fans wearing jorts? I guess they aren't jorts, like um, jean shorts or something. So I guess that's, that's kind of a mean thing. I don't know. But that car wash always has like the, like the funniest little things on there, little sayings on their sign. And so I don't really come down that road very often, but whenever I do, I'm always like, what does the sign say? Because, you know, whoever does the sign is like hilarious and just always thinking of new things to, to put on it. So anyway, that's it. You know, the biggest rivalry I hear is like in football, in SEC football, is Georgia, Florida. <laughs> so, yeah. I wonder, does do Florida Gator people, do they have like jokes about Georgia Bulldog fans too? So, like, we joke about how the Florida Gator fans wear jorts, like jean shorts. Florida Gator fans, do y'all have <laughs> jokes about Georgia Bulldog fans? Anyway, I said I was getting off of here, but you know, I'm almost there. <sighs> Hit a down. They call this Tallahassee, but it turns into Oglethorpe um, Drive. And so as we come up here, we'll cross Hawthorne Avenue. It's our fire station right um, but yeah, this is just a little drive on on in my real life on my way to make a pickle delivery. Um, yeah, I do. I remember hating like that Athens closed up during the pandemic. It shut a lot of businesses down. It made it it made it very hard for folks to make a living here. Um, and I got really sick in 2019 and closed my store December 31st, 2019. I think about that now, I'm like, what a blessing. Because if I'd still had my store open, I would have still had to pay rent <laughs> But I wouldn't have been able in in this county, this Clark County here in Athens, I would not have been able to be open. I mean, they had all these rules in place. That would have been very, very difficult. I mean, it would have killed 
my business. So I look back now and I'm like, I, I, I get that. I guess it was God taking care of me, you know. Um, so, and even me getting sick, like when I say I got sick, it, it made me like blind and I couldn't drive. Um, and I just had to be home all the time. Well, in that time, it just made me like, focus. I had to just, I just was focused on, on kind of healing in myself. And so talk about shadow work. I did some major shadow work. Um, okay. So here I am. I just got to Prince Avenue and we're going to see if we can get a little parking space so that I can make this pickle delivery. I do love me some normal town. It's a cool, it's a cool uh, area here. And what I do when I make pickle deliveries here, a lot of times I will park where it says no parking just because I'm making a delivery, you know? It's important stuff. So yes, exactly what I'm about to do now. So I'll park in this little spot that says, it's got all the lines across, you know, like it's not a parking space. But, it's very important that I get this delivery done. And so that's what we're gonna do, friends. We're gonna do this. And um, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, well, let me show you. Let me show you where I am. Okay, let me show you where I am. Turn off my car. As you can tell, I did not plan any of this. Let's see. <laughs> this is normal town. Yeah, down that way is Piedmont Hospital. Um, yeah, see? This is where we are. And then I'm parked right here, Square One Fish Company, in the no parking zone. <laughs> and here's the restaurant. now because I won't be able to carry it and do the delivery at the same time. Anyway, normal town, there's a wing spot over there. You get wings there. There's normal bar. Uh, there's high low lounge. Used to be normal hardware. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool area. So it's hard to see it from here, but down there on the very end of this stretch, it's a really good Mexican restaurant too, with a with a rooftop bar that you could eat up on the roof. So there. Anyway, okay. Hi y'all.